how we put us ourselves in difficulties. Um, I thought of him in the in the break that um, when you don't do the simple things good, then everything which is following is also bad. So the technical execution, the passes, first touches, uh, crosses was was not good, and uh, this is this can happen. It's football, but we didn't have the best day in the beginning. But then we need to learn to fight us in. Um, that's what I demanded from my team, and I think in second half. And it went much better. Also, it's um, good to see that all the changements we do um, brought um, freshness, um, you know, um, quality, technically. So the team went better and better. I think we ended uh, very deserved victory. And still we missed um, some chances, especially in second half, that we could have scored more. Excuse me? Were you complicit against Mary? Well, what is the meaning of this word exactly? Complicit, you were too comfortable. Okay, I understand the question. Um, actually, no, I, I had not the feeling that we have been flying too high in the final trainings, also in our meeting, in the talks with the players. I think it, it was not uh, that we had over self confidence. Um, no excuses, so the performance was poor in the first half. Um, we faced some challenges, but also we had a lot of um, sick players. Not all of the squad has been on, on top health. Um, it's not an excuse, but maybe an explanation for certain things. So we tried also to take all the changements and bring freshness on the pitch. Um, yeah, and this is football. It can happen that also the queens are not on the top of the performance for me. It's the more the question, how, how is our reaction and how is our answer, and that we work as them in in the game. And I think in second half, we showed this attitude. Like you say, the positive thing is uh, we won uh, the result. We still didn't concede the goal. It's, it's um, getting like a bit of uh, a mythos. <laughs> and uh, this is the positive side. I think it, it always needs uh, work, you know. I think difference it's a lot about also mentality, are you willing to run for each other? Um, it, it's not the bright side then um, where you can shine in the difference, but those meters need to be run, need to be done. Um, and of course we work in a lot of details, also the uh, video analysis. Um, I think it will be key um, against the next opponents that we are very difficult to score. Um, we are always good for a goal, so this is a bit um, our way. and. Um, Happy, yeah, about this school. Working on the things. Um, and normally you need to find out um, what exactly needs to be laid up. I think today um, we got in good positions to cross, um, but the technical execution was not good. I think the decisions itself have been good. When we wanted to play the ball, there was a lot of space on the second post. Uh, which we overloaded, but the technical delivery was bad. So the final pass um, we need to work on. Um, it's also in, in Benin, we trained on artificial turf. It was another kind of pitch. So we struggled a bit technically today. You know? And then we need to really point what was wrong and, and screw that about the um, school. Well, which can scare us much more than football. So in football, I'm never, <laughs> never scared. To answer your question, simply and short. Well, um, the next step in the mission Volta is the Rockcom. We have the second quarry run against Namibia, end of November, beginning December. Um, there we can qualify and get back to the Rockcom. Last time the team didn't qualify, so this is one big point in our mission Volta. Um, and then in February, the third um, round of the Olympic program, as we call it, we will face Zambia. Um, I think also there, so we have a good development in our performance. So we need to make sure that our players get ready over the winter. Some weeks are in break, so we will, we will work with individual programs. They need to work a bit over the winter in athletic wise, and we make sure that we are best prepared for 
Zambia below, they've been on the World Cup, so it's a top team. Um, but I think we will be ready to work with them. Okay, thank you. I would say there is no pressure like that. We don't compare ourselves to the black, the black class. We do our best and the mission is to qualify for World War and qualify for Olympics. So we stick to our main and stay focused to what matters. It's not about the black star. We are well focused in our matches ahead of us. Now we have to play Namibia to qualify for World War. We are still focused on hoping to win the maximum point to qualify for World War. We have nothing to do or compare ourselves to the black star, the black star team. Like, yeah, the game has three hands. Either you lose, win, or draw. So I always stay positive. I always go in for the good one, grabbing the three points or having the victory. There's nothing like fear. I'm ready for it, and that will come my way. That's all. Vous avez bien joué, vous avez bien commencé le jeu, vous avez joué avec une bonne première mi temps Celle qui était en forme en première mi temps en deuxième temps, on a vu un peu de relâchement du côté de la fille. Est-ce que vous allez être d'accord avec mon collègue qui était très fatigué Mais c'est quoi votre avis sur le jeu en équipe Merci. Je pense que c'est un match très important. Vous avez joué le match aller, vous avez joué le match du tout. Quel est le côté politique que vous avez vu dans votre équipe aujourd'hui Est-ce que... Les filles, comme je dis, le dis, ont livré un grand match. Euh, on a eu à jouer le Congo. Je peux vous dire que le match contre le Congo a été plus difficile que celui que nous venons de livrer contre le Ghana. Euh, tout le monde s'attendait à voir le, le Ghana passer, il est vrai, le Ghana c'est une grande nation. Mais ce que les filles ont fait pendant les 180 minutes sont à féliciter. Ça a fait du, du moins que nous avons beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup de blessés parmi nous. Et les filles n'étaient pas à leur forme habituelle, mais elles ont livré un beau match. Et j'avoue que face à ce Ghana, euh, je reste sur ma soif. Je reste également sur ma fin puisque euh, le Ghana, tel qu'on on s'était dit euh, en racontant le, le, le Ghana, ce n'est pas ce que nous avons vu. Je m'attendais à voir le Ghana surclassé de, de, de Bénin. Mais au bout de 180 minutes, le cas, je peux dire, n'est pas aussi grand que ça. Donc les filles sont nous pas participer. Nous, nous sommes en apprentissage. Le Ghana a une amitié de, de cette compétition. Nous, on va continuer par apprendre. Il est vrai, nous sommes tombés sur le Ghana. Et c'est toujours bien d'apprendre à côté des gens. Merci. Ok, so it's always good to learn from the big, from the big people. Yes, uh, we, we know that is a very big team and we were expecting Ghana to be far better than what they did with us. In fact, when we knew we were having to play Ghana, and we know we knew it was this competition. And we looked at the experience of, the, of, of Ghana as a nation in this tournament. We were so much afraid, we thought. And I was. I mean, we were going to have it very, very But what we wanted, to, and I want to once again congratulate my girls. Because for the 190 minutes that we have played, we really, really, really done well. We had a lot of injured players. The squad, the squad that we had wasn't that strong. Most of them were injured. So once again, I want to congratulate them. Did you play two parts in the Ghana? Did you play two parts in the Ghana? Je peux vous dire que le match de match ici, pour le match de tout, j'étais venu pour mieux faire que le match arrive. Mieux faire cette vague de Ghana. Et je crois que ici, la chance nous, a, nous donne encore d'ici quelques mois, quelques années, vous verrez le petit dernier tenu tête au Ghana. Puisque ce qui se fait au pays, on, nous profitons pour remercier les autorités à divers niveaux. Ce que nous faisons au pays, la formation, surtout au niveau des défis. Dans un petit poche, nous pouvons dire que nous avons une qualité pour la nation. Ok, donc, oui, nous sommes venus pour ça très bien. 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 
it's very possible looking at the project that our leaders are doing back at home with the women, especially with our local in the near future, I can tell you that a small baby things like that. Okay, because you want to do your courage with the Jeux Olympiques. Et aujourd'hui, votre cette rêve là c'était. Qu'est-ce que vous voyez dans la monnaie Qu'est-ce qu'il y a Qu'est-ce qu'il y a quoi avec votre objectif là Qu'est-ce que vous pensez Merci monsieur. Alors moi c'est Abamou Aïdé Oueni. Je suis la capitaine de l'équipe. Je suis vraiment fier de, de mes équipiers. Si vous regardez dans le critique, on est, nous sommes des enfants. Nous sommes des nouveaux. Par contre, chez vous, il y a des gens qui sont nés. Ça veut dire elles ont de l'expérience plus que Moi je dis ici, c'est vrai, on est out. Mais c'est une fierté pour nous d'avoir rencontré le Ghana. Parce que tout le temps, on n'entendait pas par, parler de ce Ghana. C'est la meilleure équipe à côté du Nigeria, à tout du Sud. Mais on les a rencontrés. Donc ça veut dire que si on a pu encaisser ce trois à l'année, on ne bouge plus. On a encaissé deux bouts. Moi j'imagine qu'en deux ou trois ans. On continue de travailler, on pourra mieux faire. Donc, si on sort, on sort par la piété. C'est pas qu'on a échoué. Parce que vous avez battu le Rwanda. Et je pense que c'est 11-0. Allez, vous je ne sais pas, je ne vais pas Mais aujourd'hui, on a sorti. Nous sommes sortis par la campagne. Merci. Je vais laisser le tournoi de la Big Door. Je vais laisser le tournoi de la Big Door. Je vais laisser le tournoi de la Big Door. Je vais laisser le tournoi de la Big Door. We know very well that uh, we have been here about the Ghanaian team. We know Ghana was in the same category with Nigeria and South Africa. We've been hearing a lot about the Ghanaian team. And today we have we've met them. We are so proud of ourselves. Looking at the results that we have, uh, it doesn't reflect what we've been hearing about the Ghanaian team. Uh, with the experienced players that we have, some of them being born in 1989, you can see that most of them are senior players. Compared to our squad, we are very young. And with this squad, I believe that in the next three years, we can make this Ghanaian team again to get the first one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.